Hello, and welcome back to another safety short video from the Motor Safety Association. My name is Kevin Milligan, and I've been a safety advisor with the Motor Safety Association since 2013. Today I'm going to speak with you about harassment and violence in the workplace, which unfortunately still affects the lives of too many workers each and every day. Prior to coming to work with the Motor Safety Association, I worked in the mining and oil and gas industry. It was in these industries that I was exposed to and experienced many examples of violence and harassment in the workplace. And unfortunately, some ended tragically and ruined the lives of those involved, all of which were totally avoidable and preventable. Every workplace in Saskatchewan is legislatively required to develop, communicate, and post in the workplace a harassment and violence policy. These policies communicate what is considered harassment and or violence, what to do in the event of being exposed to violence and harassment, and what the consequences are for engaging in harassment. The last thing anything anybody wants to do is go to work every day and be exposed to harassment or violence in the workplace. As an employee, being exposed to harassment or violence in the workplace can distract you from work activities, which can lead to mistakes and put your health and safety at risk. The yellow poster behind me is an example of a health and safety bulletin board that we developed for our members to use as a template. This is where we would post our harassment or violence policy, our health and safety policy, our safety committee meeting minutes, inspection reports, or our rights and responsibilities. If you would like a copy for your workplace, please give us a call and we'll drop one off. Now the following story is an example of how a situation can go from mild to extreme, if not corrected. One of the first drilling rigs that I worked on, the environment was very aggressive and toxic. The supervisor pitted uh, people against one another every day and was extremely aggressive. Workers ended up quitting as a result of constant harassment and threats of violence. It was not a pleasant place to work at all. After one of our employees quit, as a result of this toxic environment, another employee called his friend and asked him if he wanted to come out and fill the position, which he did. These two guys grew up together in a small town and were best friends. They played sports together, attended one another's weddings, and their wives hung out with one another and their kids attended school together. They were close. It wasn't long after starting that the supervisor started pitting these two guys against one another as well. It started slowly with verbal harassment or trash talking one another, then progressed into physical challenges of strength and then escalating into altercations um, that actually end up with these two friends having to be bailed out of jail due to fighting in a local town. It was now every day that these two were at one another. It was out of control and the supervisor just fed off the chaos and pushed these two guys even harder for his own amusement. Our manager was informed of what was going on, but he basically said, those boys will sort it out, and nothing ever did happen. Then on one day everything changed. You could practically sense something big was about to happen and it did shortly after lunch. The one employee came out of the rig floor office and went to climb the derrick to trip pipe out of the ground. As he passed the other employee, he grabbed him by the collar of his coveralls and slammed him up against the rig floor handrails. The handrails gave away and they both fell over the edge falling about four meters to the ground. The one employee landed on a four inch steel nubbin, uh, which is used to bring tools to the rig floor. He severed his spine and he lost all use of his, use of his arms and legs. The, one, the other employee received a dislocated shoulder and a few scrapes, but for the most part came away unscathed, uh, or so it would appear. Obviously this event uh, changed everyone's life to some degree some more so than others. The one employee, uh, his wife was pregnant with their third child at the time uh, of this incident and the family would never be the same after 
uh, after this incident. Having a quadriplegic husband and father in a wheelchair, wheelchair for the rest of his life um, drastically changed uh, this family's life. The other employee lost a job and was ostracized within his small community um, as the one who caused this tragic event. Uh, he eventually turned to drugs and alcohol to numb the emotions and shame he felt, uh, which eventually destroyed his marriage, his relationship with his kids, and eventually uh, took his life uh, due to an overdose. Alone, homeless, on the streets of Vancouver. The supervisor and manager both lost their jobs within our organization as well. Now I understand this is an extreme example, but unfortunately not too uncommon in some industries. As owners, managers and supervisors, it is our responsibility to res recognize the signs of violence and harassment in our workplaces and to take immediate action to correct or eliminate these behaviors. If you feel it's you may feel it's just an innocent uh, situation, but the one on the receiving end may not feel the same way, and it needs to stop and, and be corrected. It's your responsibility as a supervisor to ensure that it is stopped and corrected. Uh, starting uh, the conversation is where uh, it begins. Developing a violence and harassment policy, training employees on these policies, will demonstrate your commitment for a violence and harassment free workplace. Uh, we at the Motor Safety Association can help uh, by providing example policies that can be used as a starting point in the development of your organization harassment and violence policy. Providing training for your supervisors and managers on their health and safety responsibility is another opportunity to communicate your employer's commitment to harassment and violence-free workplace. Uh, as a result, MSA has developed a virtual supervisor and manager safety fundamentals course uh, that is free for our members to attend. Please check out our website at www.motorsafety.ca or reach out by calling 306-721-0688 or email us at info at motorsafety.ca. Thank you for your time today and please have a safe day.